I don't care if it's P.I., I don't care if it's Rick Ross, I don't care if it's Jay, I don't care if it's Snoop, I don't care if it's Game, I don't care if it's Dre. Nobody's stepping up. The notorious Shug Knight has broken his silence from behind bars, making explosive claims about Sean Diddy Combs' ongoing legal woes and the silence from some of the most prominent figures in the industry. Shug Knight, the man who once helmed Death Row Records and managed Tupac Shakur during the legendary rap wars with the notorious B.I.G. and Diddy himself, is once again making waves, this time with accusations that could potentially shake the foundations of the music world. Speaking from prison, where he is serving time for manslaughter, Knight didn't hold back in his latest interview. In a tense phone conversation with Chris Cuomo on News Nation, he criticized the deafening silence from top industry figures like Jay-Z, Drake, Rick Ross, and Snoop Dogg, names that have been synonymous with the hip-hop industry for decades. I don't care if it's P.I., I don't care if it's Rick Ross, I don't care if it's Jay, I don't care if it's Snoop, I don't care if it's Game, I don't care if it's Dre. Nobody's stepping up. Knight declared, his voice hard and unrelenting, accusing these giants of turning a blind eye to what he claims is an industry-wide cover-up. Ashok Knight is no stranger to controversy. As the former CEO of Death Row Records, he oversaw the careers of some of the most iconic figures in rap, from Dr. Dre to Snoop Dogg and, of course, Tupac Shakur. His leadership style, marked by intimidation and alleged criminal activity, was as infamous as the music his label produced. Now, from the confines of his prison cell, Knight is turning the spotlight back onto the industry this time accusing top rappers and executives of willfully ignoring a darker side of the business. The context for Knight's tirade comes as Sean Diddy Combs faces a barrage of legal challenges, including a shocking 14-page indictment that details allegations of racketeering, trafficking, and drug-related crimes. According to reports, Diddy's lavish, star-studded parties, often dubbed freak-offs, were more than just wild gatherings. They were reportedly scenes of criminal activity, where guests were allegedly drugged and sex assaulted. Federal agents have since raided Diddy's properties, where they reportedly found large quantities of narcotics and over 1,000 bottles of baby oil and lubricant, further intensifying the allegations against the hip-hop mogul. Although Combs has pleaded not guilty to the charges, the mounting evidence has cast a dark shadow over his once golden reputation, leaving the public, and apparently Suge Knight, wondering how deep this scandal runs. Suga Knight's anger isn't just directed at Diddy, he's furious with the entire hip-hop community, especially the prominent figures who've remained conspicuously silent as the allegations against Diddy continue to unfold. Over the years, icons like Jay-Z, Rick Ross, Snoop Dogg, and Drake have been seen mingling with Diddy, attending his high-profile events, and even participating in some of his infamous private parties. Yet now, as the legal noose tightens around Diddy, none of these artists have spoken up. According to Knight, their silence speaks louder than words. These guys knew what was going on. Knight claimed, suggesting that the rappers he named were fully aware of the alleged criminal activities but chose to keep quiet. Knight's accusations, while unproven, reflect a long-standing belief within certain circles that the entertainment industry often turns a blind eye to wrongdoing, particularly when it involves powerful figures. The legal troubles surrounding Diddy have reignited conversations about accountability in the music industry. For years, rumors have circulated about the behavior of top executives and artists, with many claiming that the excesses of fame often lead to moral and and legal compromises. Knight's comments are only adding fuel to this fire, suggesting that those who have brushed shoulders with Diddy at his infamous parties might have seen more than they're willing to admit. Adding another layer to this already convoluted saga is comedian Cat Williams, who recently issued a grim warning about Diddy's legal predicament. Williams, a known critic of the entertainment industry's darker side, boldly predicted that Diddy wouldn't be going down alone. According to the Wild and Out star, Diddy is about to snitch on everybody in his inner circle, possibly dragging other high-profile figures into the scandal. Williams shared a now viral edited clip from Wesley Snipes' 1991 film New Jack City, in which Diddy's face is superimposed onto the character of Nino Brown, a drug lord who famously turns on his associates when caught. In the video, as Diddy's character takes the stand, the camera pans to a courtroom filled with familiar faces, most notably Jay-Z. The implication is clear. If Diddy is forced to face the music, he might not do it alone. Williams had previously alluded to the potential downfall of powerful figures in the industry during an interview on the Club Shay Shea podcast, ominously predicting that 2024 would be the year many of these big d 
Black deviants face their reckoning. His words now seem eerily prophetic as Diddy's legal troubles continue to mount. It's up for all of them, Williams said earlier this year. It don't matter if it's Diddy or whoever you is, Pastor T.D. Jakes, any of them. Perhaps the most disturbing aspect of the allegations against Diddy is the revelation of what allegedly transpired during his infamous freak-offs, the private decadent parties where the rich and famous indulged in behavior that now, according to prosecutors, crossed into criminal territory. These gatherings, once whispered about in hip-hop circles as legends of hedonism, are now at the center of a serious criminal investigation. Reports suggest that drugs flowed freely at these parties, and guests were often unaware of what they were consuming. The allegation that some partygoers were drugged without their knowledge has raised significant questions about consent and accountability. And while it remains unclear whether any of the celebrities who attended these events were aware of the alleged crimes taking place, Knight's accusation that some of them knew what was going on has cast suspicion over an entire generation of hip-hop royalty. The details of these parties, from the drugs to the hundreds of bottles of baby oil and lubricant found in Diddy's homes, paint a picture of excess gone too far. Whether or not these items were used in criminal activity is still up for debate, but their discovery has certainly raised eyebrows. What makes Suga Knight claims particularly striking is his assertion that the hip-hop community has largely remained silent in the face of these allegations. While some might argue that it's too soon to pass judgment on Diddy, given that he has pleaded not guilty, others point out that the silence from major figures like Jay-Z, Snoop Dogg, and Drake is deafening. In an industry that often prides itself on loyalty and solidarity, the absence of public statements from these high-profile artists is notable. Whether they are withholding judgment until the legal process plays out, or simply choosing to distance themselves from the controversy, remains to be seen. But for Shuge Knight, their silence is complicity. This silence also raises broader questions about accountability in the music industry and corruption within the industry, but significant change has been slow to come. Knight's comments, whether driven by personal vendettas or genuine concern, highlight the need for more transparency and accountability among those at the top. To understand the gravity of the current situation, it's important to take a step back and examine Diddy's legacy. Born Sean Combs, Diddy rose to prominence in the early 1990s as the founder of Bad Boy Records, a label that helped define an era of East Coast hip-hop. Under his leadership, Bad Boy launched the careers of artists like the notorious B.I.G., Mace, and Faith Evans, making Diddy one of the most influential figures in the industry. However, his rise was not without controversy. Diddy was a central figure in the infamous East Coast-West Coast rap rivalry that culminated in the deaths of Tupac Shakur and the notorious B.I.G. While Diddy has always denied any involvement in the violence that surrounded that era, his proximity to these events has left a lasting stain on his reputation. In the years that followed, Diddy continued to build his empire, expanding into fashion, television, and liquor brands, solidifying his status as a mogul. Yet, throughout his career, rumors of misconduct have dogged him. From allegations of violent altercations to stories of questionable behavior at his parties, Diddy's public image has been a mix of glamour and controversy. As the legal battle unfolds, one thing is clear. This scandal has the potential to reshape the landscape of the music industry. If Suge Knight allegations are proven true, or if Diddy decides to cooperate with authorities and name others involved, it could bring down some of the biggest names in hip-hop. For now, all eyes are on Diddy as he prepares to fight the charges against him. But as Suga Knight's explosive interview continues to make headlines, it's impossible to ignore the broader implications. Will more artists step forward to distance themselves from Diddy, or will they remain silent as the drama unfolds? The hip-hop community and its fans are left waiting for answers, 